Hey guys, welcome back to the Rainbow Reels with Panos and Matt. This is episode 6 of Demon Slayer, season 4, not 3. <laughs> I was going to say 3, no. but it's 4, um, season 4. Again, an amazing weekend. We just finished uh, Kaiju number 8 and My Hero Academia. Kaiju number 8 is incredible. If you are not watching it, please watch it. If you're not watching our reaction, please watch our reaction. Uh, but here we are now for Demon Slayer. This is episode six. After this, we have two more to go. We just found out that the last two will be extra long, which yes. is amazing. So let's drive right in. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, he looks so good. <laughs> Zenitsu is already over it. Lift. Wow. Push, not cut. <laughs> Cho is up there, 258 feet. <laughs> he wanted to roast them. This is hilarious. <laughs> Zenitsu <laughs> passed out. Oh, this is hilarious. Mm, the strongest. This is hilarious. <laughs> this is hilarious. Puke again. <laughs> Hilarious. How do they go from this sophisticated, beautiful drawing to this Into silly this. cartoon no? in an instant? And it's ah, so funny. It's so cute. I kid you not, you know, if Zenitsu would fall asleep, I think he would just be able to just do it. Oh yeah, of course. Let's and go! Nosuka is also there! He's fallen asleep. Or is he actually frozen? No! No! He died? Stop! Killed him, Manjiro. <laughs> Did he choke because he has the mask on and like the water? It's like too much. No, it's just too cold. <laughs> oh my god, the voice acting is incredible. Cute. This is also like a bit like, uh, what's his name, Rengoku, no? When he said, put your heart at place. Uh -huh. No? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's so nice to have him back, no? Still funny Ten to me. fish. It's still funny to me how feminine his and face is. Yes, 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 yes. Interesting. You're being deceived. So cute. Huh? Oh, he's pushing well, it. There you go. <laughs> Whoa. You know what's funny? He is the craziest of them all. <laughs> what is he doing? But when he falls asleep, he becomes a killer assassin, yeah. no? He just needs to be that permanently. Awake. <laughs> this is not the place for me. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> this is hilarious. But look, they are pushing through. Training completed. Oh, and the music is amazing again. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, that was a nice switch. Oh, these bloody eyes again. She's the internet. <gasps> no! What? This is crazy. Well, she controls the Infinity Castle, right? Like, that's her... Demon art. Demon yeah, demon art. art. Yeah, blood demon art. She found two more. So interesting. So so far, they're just following. They're not killing or anything, you know. Mm. Wow. Oh, hello, Gudaimas. Oh, Komoro. Ore tashi wa yama ori ru wa. Totemo tsuite eke ne. Ah, bless them. Kitattai zein no chikara de kibutsu jimuzan no kubi o torimashou. Yeah, so true. Yeah, you need them as well. Yeah, I mean, season three and even two, you saw how many support characters were needed, you know? I'm surprised that the crows haven't saw, uh, seen those eyes running around, you know? Yeah, I'm sure there's kind of uh, technique he can Breathing, use, probably, you know? no? But like, where's... Gyoma. No, what's his name? He, sh he share? Oh, that's a good one. Is it? Oh, that's a good one. Is it? Oh, that's a good one. Is it? He can? I was gonna say, like, where is he actually teaching yeah, them what to do? Yeah. Like, he was gonna say, like, yeah, he's like, 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 he's uh, and he needs to cook for them. I mean, he he's can't let him train. Well, he needs to cook for them. I mean, he's not let him train. Well, he needs to cook for them. I mean, he's not let him train. Well, he needs to cook for them. So, stop it. No. I thought he's gonna say that or do it when he was under the water, not here. He's moving it. Wow. Oh, it changed! Wow. <laughs> He's already beaten you. He's pushed it. Let's go, boy. Let's go. <sighs> that is crazy. It's almost like he can activate it at will now. No? Mm. Let's go! Wow, yeah. this is good! <laughs> wow! How, how far is 368 feet? 
Good question. He's just what? pushing! Yeah, he needs to... Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> what do you look like? Hmm. What is the secret? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's so cute. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Episode 6. six. Well, it seems the Hashu training is completed. At least for Tanjiro. Um, yes, for Tanjiro. Right? He, he's he been with all the Hashu's now. Mm -hmm. This was the last one, Stone mm -hmm. Hashura, and... Well, he didn't complete the Wind Hashura training, he was banned. Oh, uh, true. Yes. Yeah, true. Though he did manage to punch him, with uh, to kick him, yeah. he didn't really complete it. Yeah, but right. I'm sure he would have. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what's interesting? You can see here how... Um, you can see how different levels of demon slayers are performing. And even we saw the scene where the three, three of them gave up. They're like, oh, you know, yes. this isn't for us. We can't keep up. Mm -hmm. We're just going to fall back and be support roles. Yes. Which, you know, in a way is, is fine. Um, because we've seen it in, in the other seasons, how important support roles are. You mm -hmm. know, even, even Kotetsu, you know, mm -hmm. who is not a demon slayer. He was such an integral part. And he's just a, an apprentice to become yes. a, um, a swordsmith. Um, but then we see Tanjiro really outperforming everybody. So Inosuke was here before Tanjiro, mm -hmm. but Tanjiro is beating Inosuke. I also thought it was interesting to see how Inosuke was further ahead than Zenitsu, but both of them are quite far ahead. Mm -hmm. it, you know, even thinking about it, it makes total sense. Both of them... I'm sure easily did Mitsuri's uh, training yes. because both of them are very flexible, especially Nosuke, mm -hmm. right? Oh yeah, I mean <laughs> he's Mitsu like a worm. Yeah, he he <laughs> he can just do the splits and everything without Mitsuri. Yes. And then the fact that Inosuke was already with uh, with Kiyome also shows you, um, I guess, how strong he is, you know. But also a good fighter. Yeah. Uh, so and we see we we saw him fight. So we see obviously Inosuke fight with his two katanas, his mm -hmm. two swords. But he also can also, you know, martial arts and everything. Like yeah. He can fight properly. Um, but here we see how Tanjiro, like, well, like I said, literally just, you know, takes it to the next level. And his, his, his demon mark changes. Yeah, it was funny that obviously he didn't really notice it himself because he doesn't have a mirror. But then once Genya arrived, mm. He knows he know he noticed it, right? He said like, "Oh, it's darker. did your mark get darker?" Like, mm. Yeah, but there's a difference between darker and it also changing the shape. Yeah, right. Like there is two. Like when it goes into this flame form, mm -hmm. you know, he means business. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I was surprised to see Genya appear. I'm not gonna lie, and be like, "Oh yeah, I've been here already," and I'm like, "Were you?" Because a minute ago you were still training with your brother. Um, so that was a weird jump in a way for me, but I guess it made sense because but like he he said like oh he's now back here mm -hmm. right to continue the training. Okay, that's what he said. I, I didn't get so. that. What do you think of of this episode in general? Yeah, I mean it was really focused on Tanjiro, mm -hmm. which was good on his progress. Um, but it, I thought I thought it was really nice to have Genya there as well. Yes. To see them interact, and then they had this moment where they were having dinner, right? Mm. Um, it's nice because Kenya isn't getting a lot of screen time. Yeah, and you, if you compare him to the previous season, mm -hmm. where he was a really difficult character, like he didn't want to interact with anyone else. Isolated, yes. Yeah, yeah he yeah. was very isolated, very angry as well. Well, now they're friends. But now that you can see that they're, they're friends and he mm. cares about Tanjiro. Mm. And vice versa. Yeah. I mean, Tanjiro literally took a beating for him. Yeah. Uh, I'm obsessed with the art style. I mean, everybody's obsessed. It's, it's beautiful. 
but the fact that they can switch between this hyper detailed beautiful drawings to this crazy silly faces yeah and the humor right there, there, there are some episodes that have a lot of humor and then there's some episodes that don't have much humor. I mean, this season is a lot of humor anyway. But the trio is hilarious. I mean, Inosuke <laughs> dying under the waterfall and Tanjiro bringing him back to life. Uh, that was crazy. And then it's sort of just drowning and then floating <laughs> away and Tanjiro needs to rescue him. But that's why we love this show. That yeah. is why everybody loves this show. It's so, it's so funny. You know, it's... It's a long season. It's a filler season. Yeah. Who cares? You know, we're spending time with these characters. It's so fun, you know. Like, exactly. It's fun to watch. Exactly. Um, interesting. And you said it. It was surprising that Guillaume didn't, didn't show up to actually teach them. It was like station one, station yeah. two, station three. Bye bye. I wish we would have seen more of him in general. Mm. Maybe actually teaching them, like yeah. how to, how to what kind of techniques to use. Yes. Because now at the end, like Tanjiro kind of learned this from Genya, this repetitive motion thing. It's like, shouldn't the Hashira train, the Hashira you. train you guys? Like, exactly. Or even just but, to see more of him. Yes. But it was just like, it's, it was almost like he was hiding or yeah. something, you know? You know what's funny? So the, this episode was titled The Strongest of the Demon Slayer Core. Mm. And I thought, oh, it's uh, Gyoma. It's the Stone Hashira. But what it actually refers to is Tanjiro, because he's the strongest of the of the Demon Slayer core, mm. you know, because the Hashiras, I guess, don't count to the regular Demon yes. Slayer core. They're the Hashiras. Yes, it it's, a, it's their own category. True. So if you think about it now, and obviously now we saw in the preview the um, Taisho secret and the, pre uh, the um, title, next episode is going to be about Yume, right? Yes. The Stone Hashira. It would be nice to have a bit more backstory because he out of all, I guess, is the one that had the least screen time, I mm -hmm. want to say. And it yeah. would be nice to find out why he's the strongest, how he became the strongest. But yeah. And just to understand his persona, he seems very... He's almost like a priest. Yeah, like a priest, very Buddha. mysterious. Yeah. Why is he always crying? Like, why is he so sensitive? Mm. Is it is that really his character. the case? Or is he just... Yes. Emotionally like, imbalanced. Yeah. Stressed. <laughs> He's stressed because he's the strongest. <laughs> Anxious. Uh, and of course, I would like to see him fight, but I don't yes. think we will see him fight here in this in this season. But who knows? Because again, next season and the se um, next episode and the episode after are going to be very long. 40 minutes and 60 minutes. Yes. We didn't talk about Muzan. Oh. Actually my, showing uh, up. Our daddy. And what was her name? I forgot the, the name. Something with N. She's number four. Yeah. The internet. Hashira, uh, the, 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 the internet, uh, but she she's the dark she, web. She's like the she's she the has dark her web. web everywhere, yes, yes, so. yes. Um, uh, you know, so that's that's basically what they're doing. That's the plan. They're spying and trying to find all the demon slayers. So Muzan wants to attack, yeah. but Muzan wants to attack the right target at oh, the yeah. right time. You know, he doesn't yes. want to waste his time. He's, uh, we know Muzan doesn't like mistakes. He's super impatient, so it's like. I need to know where she is, and then we go after her. I love how he sits on that chair uh, looking at the map, and she's doing all the work with <laughs> her little thingy. Um, what I did find interesting, and I said it briefly, I was like, uh, how are the crows not seeing those eyes running around? And yeah. wouldn't the crows be able to just target them and attack them and eat them like a mice or something? Because even in, I think it was the previous episodes, there was one scene where it was like a lot of eyes. Yes. You know? Guys, come I was on. like... Not a single one of them have, has been seen, has mm. been discovered. It's weird, no? Yeah, it's very weird. Yeah. But she appears to be very strong because we also know that she controls the castle. I think, I think obviously, the main aim is to find Nezuko yeah, because yeah. He, she was like, oh, we haven't found her yet. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I like the, the, that, that, that visual when, when, when the camera starts moving through the castle and then obviously the, the gate shut. You know what it looks like? It, it looks almost like a Borg hive. If you guys know Star Trek, um, you know, the Borg have this sort of prismatic shapes mm -hmm. and everything. It's, uh, uh, it's beautiful. And then seeing it here made out of wood and it being this wooden castle that shifts and shapes the same way. The visuals are beautiful. And then having her sitting there with her web in that structure is just, yeah. I mean, they know what they're doing. 
But they get, I mean, then again, they also have good source material to, you know, work yeah, with and expand. And, and, and Muzan looks looks super chilled on that <laughs> that throne. Cheap looking throne, but throne. Yeah, it's like they're, they're working in the background, you know, mm. they're preparing for the next Attack. battle. Yes, yes, yes. Um, fun episode. Lots of fun, actually. Mm. I mean, that scene with Inosuke dying and, and Zenitsu floating away. <laughs> probably two of my favorite scenes yeah. uh, in the season. That was hilarious. But also in also calling uh, Tanjiro, uh, Kampachiro and Kampachiro, Manjiro, yes. everything, but everything yes. but Tanjiro. And, uh, yeah, there was this one scene in, in season one, do you remember? We were yes. watching it in English, actually. We, 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 wow, we wound a couple of times. times. We couldn't stop laughing. I think that's when Kampachi. they, first, like, yeah, they yeah. meet the first time and then they they kind of walk through the woods afterwards. And Zenitsu was sleeping, Tanjiro was carrying him. Yeah. I- I'm gonna try and find the scene, I'm gonna put it down here <laughs> so you guys can see it. But it was hilarious because they're fighting and then Zenitsu wakes up. <laughs> and in English he says, I'm trying to sleep here! <laughs> With this, With this huge, huge chest. Tanjiro. It was crazy, it was so funny. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm trying to sleep here! <laughs> Something like that. Yes, yes. We were in tears. That was funny. Ah, we should have. Rec- I mean, back then we weren't recording for YouTube. Anyway, <laughs> right. This was episode uh, seven, right? Six. Six. Well, six. Two more to go. Thank you guys for being back, Demon Slayer. We will see you for the next one. Take care. Bye.